Good morning. Welcome to Craft Time at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. My name is Michelle McLagan and I am the director of the library here in Lisbon. And today our craft project is pencil toppers. So these pencil toppers are made out of craft foam with wiggly eyes and a chenille stem that holds it on to a pencil and they wiggle when you write. So we have four different animals that we're making this week as part of our summer reading program. If you've already had the opportunity to pick up a craft kit, this is what your kits look like. There are two different kits with two different animals in each kit. So depending on which kit you picked up, you will be able to make two animals and it'll be two of the animals that you see in front of me, but each kit will not necessarily make the same animals. So I'm gonna put this one aside for just a moment and grab this one, which already is open at the end. And let me show you what comes in your craft kit. So regardless of which kit you have, you are going to have the first page. We'll have a photo of the four different animals just to give you a good reference guide. And it will also have four wiggly eyes taped to it. That'll be two eyes for each of the two animals that your kit is going to make. So that's the same in every kit. Your second page is going to have the detailed step-by-step -step instructions on it. That is going to be the same for each kit as well. And then you're going to have two faces that you're going to have to cut out and trace. And this particular kit will do a bear and it will do a bunny rabbit. You will have two chenille stems. The colors that you get are going to be dependent on which animals you're making. So in this particular case, you would get a brown one for the bear and a pink one for the bunny rabbit. You will have two pencils for your kit. Each pencil has pictures of little animals on them. So there will be two of those in your kit as well. You will have two large pieces of craft foam, and that's going to vary depending on which animals you're making. So in this case, this particular kit made a bunny rabbit, so we have white foam to go with the bunny rabbit's head and a dark brown foam to go with the bear's head. So you'll have two sheets of that. And then you'll have a couple of smaller sheets of foam depending on which animals you're doing. So in this case, there's a little square of beige foam and that's going to do the mouth area here as well as the inner parts of the bear's eyes. There's a little piece of black foam that's going to do the bear's nose. And there's a piece of pink foam that will do the bunny rabbit's nose and the insides of the bunny rabbit's ears. If you have a different craft kit, you would have orange foam, white foam, black foam, dark brown, beige, black. It depends on what you've got there. So let me put all of that aside. Now, the most complicated animal, I believe, is the owl. So we're going to make that one together today. The other ones have fewer pieces, so they're not quite as complicated. So let's slide those out of the way. And then let's take the owl over here. And what I've already done is I've opened up a craft kit and I have cut out everything and prepared things as best as I can so that you don't have to watch me cut everything. So what I had in this particular kit was a template that I cut out with my scissors. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that. You're gonna need to take the template that you cut out of your animal's head and you're gonna take the large piece of foam, okay, so it was a large piece about this size, and you're going to trace this onto the foam with a pencil two times, because what you wanna do is be able to, and I can show you through here, you're going to sandwich your chenille stem up inside two pieces of foam. So one piece of foam is going to be the back of your animal. So in this case, it's the back of the owl. And the other piece of foam is going to be the front of the animal. And as you can see here, the chenille stem goes up in between them. So you wanna be sure when you take your piece of foam that you line it up. So you don't wanna put your owl right in the middle because then you may not have enough 
make sure you line it up so that you can get two. So I'm gonna cut out two pieces of the owl's head. So that would be here. And then once I've cut those out, and, and I've created two separate ones here, so you can see, once I've cut this owl out in its entirety two times, I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut apart some of the different features of the owl. So for example, here is the bottom of the owl. I don't need this. This is the beige part here that you can see. So this is really just trash. But I'm going to also cut his eyes out of the middle of him. And I'm going to use that to cut a piece of white foam. So that's going to become this part up here. So it's kind of like an exploding picture. If you've ever seen one of those pictures of some of the like ships and things that we have upstairs at the library. I'm also going to cut out his black beak. Just cut all these little pieces apart and that's going to turn into a little black piece of foam for his beak. And then up at the top, I'm cutting right along here. So I've separated out the eyes and the top of his head, and that is going to become a piece of brown foam for the top of his head. So you can see where I've sort of exploded those out. Now, the other thing that I've done is I've just taken a piece of brown foam and I've cut something sort of in the shape of a branch and I've cut two pieces of black that are going to be his feet sitting over the front edge of the branch. And you've got a little bit of an image here. You can just cut something out that's a little bit of a, a foot shape. And then I have my two wiggly eyes. I have my beige colored uh, chenille stem and I have a pencil. So to get started with the assembly, we want to take the front face part of one of the pieces of foam, all right? And then we want to take the rest of the pieces and we're going to glue them on to the front. Now, one of the things that you can do is just glue the top brown part and glue the white part together. And you can use either kind of glue, but we'll start with this one today. Maybe. Okay, so now I'm just going to come along over here. And you know, they may not line up perfectly after you've done all the cutting, but that is fine. And then we'll take our eyes. And we'll put some glue on the back of that. And usually when I'm tracing things, I do trace things so that they're upside down. So if I have any pencil marks showing, they end up on the bottom. And we'll just come right along in here and scoot that together. And a tiny bit of glue on the back of his beak. And that just sits right in there. We'll take the branch. We'll put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And we'll just put that right down at the bottom where his feet are. And two pieces of feet. There's one. And they'll just sit right up on top of the branch like his feet were hanging over the edge where he was gripping onto it. Oopsie. So that'll go there. And then we've got two wiggly eyes. And we're going to plop one of those right in the middle. And another one. So there we have our owl. 
Now the glue is still wet, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a moment while I explain the next step. So the next thing that you wanna do is create your little sandwich here. So you're going to need to let this dry for a while, okay? Otherwise, it's just gonna all fall apart, which you're probably gonna see happen with me. And then once it's dry and everything is holding together, you wanna maybe give it 15 minutes. And then you wanna come back and you want to take the back piece and you're going to put quite a bit of glue on it. You don't want the glue to be oozing out, but you wanna put enough glue that it's going to, to stick. And so you put glue across the whole thing and then you're going to come back with your chenille stem, okay? And you're going to lay it down in the middle, just like that, and take your front part of the owl and make a little sandwich here. And everything I have is still extremely wet with glue still, so it's really, it's not going to stick. But you're going to press it down and you want your chenille stem coming out right in the center at the bottom because you want enough space on either side so that it stays glued. So I'm gonna see if I can take my fingers off of here. So what you can do then also is get something heavy. So you might wanna just take you know, a piece of plastic bag or you know, like a Ziploc bag, put it over the top so everything doesn't stick together and then put a really heavy book on it or a heavy pot from the kitchen and weight everything down. And that will help it to stick better. And that way you don't have to sit here and hold it for a long period of time. Then what you're going to do after that, once this is all dry, and I will need to go back and add some glue to this one where I've peeled it apart so you can see, you wanna come back and it just slides right onto the pencil. So take your pencil, take your chenille stem, twirl it all the way around your pencil and then let it hang out just like that. So you'll come back, this will be all dry. You'll wanna start up at the top and just wind it round and round and round. So something along the lines of this. So round and around. And you'll wanna make sure that you wind it pretty tightly because you're going to want it to grip on to the pencil. And if it's too loose, it's not going to grip very well. And you'll just wind it all the way. And I'm trying not to wind way up at the top because everything is still wet with glue. But you can see here where if I hold this down, I can keep doing some winding and show you what it's supposed to look like at the end. So the biggest challenge here is patience in waiting for all of this glue to dry. But that would be your finished product. Once it's all dry, it will end up looking just like this one. And if you have the other animals that we're working on in this particular craft kit, you're going to do the same thing. You're always going to cut two pieces. So you'll cut two pieces of orange for the fox and then you'll disassemble what you've cut out so that you can cut out his cheeks here and a little piece of nose and two little pieces of white ear. And then you'll sandwich your pipe cleaner in between those. With your bear, you're going to cut out the beige part of his face after you've cut out two pieces of the dark brown. And then you can cut out some little ears for him, glue on his eyes, and the same thing with the pipe cleaner. For the bunny rabbit, there is just one little different step. You're going to cut out two of the face out of your white foam, and then you can disassemble that and cut it out so that you can get two ears, just a little round nose. You don't have to necessarily cut out the template. You can just cut straight from the foam. You'll put on the two wiggly eyes, and the other thing you're going to do here is you're going to come back with a black marker. So over here I have my markers and just a fine tip black Sharpie or a black marker of some kind and give him a little bit of a mouth down at the bottom so draw a straight line 
and then draw kind of like a little smiley face. And then you're going to give him a couple of whiskers on each side. So I gave him three whiskers on each side with my black marker. That's the only thing that's different with the bunny rabbit. You don't really need markers for the others unless you want to add just a little bit of a um, mouth at the end of his nose there. So that is it. The only supplies that you needed from home were the pencil, some scissors, some glue, and a marker depending on which animal you have. So that is what you're going to end up with. You have a choice of four animals depending on which kit you collected from your library. And that's gonna be our pencil toppers. Thank you so much for joining us for Woodland Animal Week here at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. All of these animals are native to Europe as well as many other continents in the world. So look forward to seeing you. Once again, my name is Michelle McLagan. The Lisbon Hepburn Library is open Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 8 p.m. and Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 to 5. Look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.